What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Rock Tunnel, and, you know, routes 9 and 10. Yeah, we did a lot. And, well, we replaced Voltorb with Paris again, because we're going to be needing Paris for a lot of stuff right here. And I mean a lot. I mean a lot, a lot. I mean, we, we need we need it for just, you know, the, the essential cutting and all that stuff. So we're not going to be doing anything in Lavender Town just yet because, well, yeah, there's nothing there's nothing to do. What we're going to do right now is we're going to be battling everybody in this route and then from there going into Celadon City to take care of other business, you know, business ventures and all that crud. So let's see, what do we need to do first? Um, oh, yeah, you know what? Smasher is right here. Let's go right ahead and just battle everybody. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Jigglypuff, probably? I don't know. Okay, so, many of you guys, uh, well, some of you guys have been asking, oh, when am I gonna start trading? Uh, I wanna say after this badge right here, guys. I wanna say after that because, well, we kinda need to get to a specific level. That way I don't have to worry about, like, you know, accidentally training up my Pokemon way too, way too high, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, we kinda did that in Pokemon Crystal, and yeah. <laughs> that right there taught me a lesson about waiting. Just waiting until we get there. And, wow. Seriously, it's gonna use a, it's gonna use its, a, its, its roar attack right there. And look at that, missed the big chance. Yes, you did. Okay, so that's another victory for us. And, well, right here, if you go right here, you're gonna be finding some interesting Pokemon. But I do see some uh, M's right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a Repel because I don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon just yet. And we're going to grab these berries. Look at that. There's one berry. There's a Rouseberry. This one is a Lumberry. And then if you go down here, you're going to be finding yourself a Lepaberry. And yes, we're going to be... <laughs> there's a lot of emphasis in the, on the berries right here, guys. Again, make sure to find those little M-shaped uh, grass patches right there. That usually is a telltale sign that there is an item right there. So let's go with Puss Boots right here and talk to this guy. You should be informed. You need strategy to win at this. Okay. All right. This guy's like intense. Bring it on. And, well, let's see. Yeah, what else... Have what else are we doing right here? Oh, wow. He's he's being very, very strategic right now, so I am not going to have that. Let's go with a Thundershock. And, yes, we have been disabled. And this guy is literally trying to make us miss. We're going to hit him at some point. And are you serious? <laughs> Puss in Boots. There we go. Victory. And he's coming out with a Muck. You know what would be good? A Psychic-type Pokemon. But the next best thing is a, is a Ground-type Pokemon. So let's go with the Body Slam, and just like that, we defeated another Muck. Body Slam. Yes, Rock Slide. Eat it. And there we go. We have defeated or Super Nerd Glen. Okay. So let's go ahead and revive our Pokemon yet again. Yeah, Sparky's not liking us right now. It is not. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use a Super Potion right here. And let us move on right here, taking on the twins. And this right here, yes, double battles are incorporated in this. So let's go right ahead and just go with the guys that we got. Let's see. Yeah, twin power is fantastic, did you know? Not really. Okay, so here we go, taking on the twins. And yes. Oh, wait, hold on. No, actually. Let's go right ahead and switch out to Leonardo. And let's go with the rock slide. That way everybody can get hit. And since that follow me kind of did us dirty, so let's go right ahead and try hit them both. And there we go. We have defeated the twins. Okay, twin power right away. And well, let's see. This guy can see off the distance. Holy crud! School is fun, but so are Pokemon. Oh wow! All right, let's take on the super nerd Leslie. Leslie's a girl's name, and. Well, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for that, but uh, yes, I do know it's a bite. It's a, what was it called? A unisex name. And, yeah. What is it with these Pokemon trainers trying to lower my accuracy? It's, it's ridiculous. Okay, so that's that. And, well, let's go right ahead. Let's just continue on with Puss and Boots and see what this girl has. I like Nidoran, so I collect them. That is a, that is a big collection. 
Let's go right ahead and dig on uh, last page. Coming out with her Nidor and female. And here comes a bite attack. We are poisoned yet again. Puss and Boots, it's a poison magnet. I cannot believe that. And there we go. And Puss and Boots grows to level 23. Here comes a Nidorina. Let's go with Nido Queen right here. And Dig Attack does it. And Smasher grows to level 29. Almost at level 30 right there. Okay, who's next? And yes, the Meowth is cute, but my Meowth is poison. Good gravy. Yes, I have an issue with those Pokemon. So let's go straight for a Water Gun attack. And just like that, another victory. And you know what? We're going to continue on with this because she, she only has Meowths. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch to Tornado. And go with the Peck attack right here. And just like that, Andrea has been defeated. Okay, so let's go right ahead and heal this Pokemon because this is ridiculous. Poison. Yeah, Pussy Boost has not been liking us. Not one bit. Holy crud. We must look silly standing here uh, like this. Yes. A little bit. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on Last Megan. And she is coming out with her Pidgey. Payday again. Payday. And look at that. So it seems that Payday is... Well, it's... Puss in Boots is a more powerful move, which is kind of ridiculous, because, I mean, I actually thought it would have been a little bit stronger than that, but never mind. Here we go, Seismic Toss, Water Gun, level 32, and he's coming, or she's coming out with a Pikachu, so let's go with a type advantage, and just like that, we defeated this Pikachu. Let's go with P Puss in Boots, and Payday Attack. There we go, we win the Payday Battle. And yes, what did I do to your poor Pokemon? I just beat him. And we collected a lot of money right there. Okay, let's move on right here. And here we have another individual. Oh, we have one of these biker dudes. They're no good. So let's go straight for a smasher. And there we go. Clear the way, I'll run you down. Oh, wow. Okay, so here we have Biker Jaren. And he's going to be coming with his Grimer. So let's go dig attack, and that does it. And we're gonna go again, and just like that, we have defeated Jaren. Yes, Smasher's kicking some butt. It really is. Alrighty, another biker right here. Come on, pay attention to me. Why won't you pay attention to me? I need attention. There we go. My bike's acting up, man. Well, maybe you need to fix the phalange. You know, for those who don't like, for those who know that reference, you're the real ones right there. So here he comes out with a coughing. Obviously, Coffee does still have that Levitate, and well, there we go, Smasher has grown to level 30, and we need to switch out our Pokemon right here, let's go to Leonardo, and go with the Water Gun, Mega Kick, and here comes a Grimer, so let's give Tornado a bit of love right here, and Thief, come on, and it didn't steal anything, there we go, Peck Attack, and just like that, we have defeated another Biker. And let's see, is there anything else that we can do? Now, if you guys are wondering what this is, uh, let's see, Northeast. This is the east end of Saffron City. You can't go there just yet because you need a special tool, item, whatever, to actually go through this area, which I will be showing you guys later on in this episode. And, well, actually, Puss and Boost has something that it has found. So let's go ahead and take that. And we have a Rosberry. Okay. Talk to this guy. You look good at Pokemon, but how, or, but how is your chemistry grade? I'll tell you this right now. Chemistry sucks. I am not the chemist, okay? For those who do chemistry, you must be crazy. But then I do commend you because, well, you must be one of the smart people to know how to, you know, mess with stuff. Science and all that crud. Yeah. And, well, let's go straight for, that's not the move I wanted to use. Let's go with double kick. There it is, Voltorb. Let's go, double kick, rock slide, and yes, we have defeated Aiden. Okay, so we got one more trainer right here. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. All right, let's play a game. Hmm, what kind of game are we talking about? Okay, so here comes Gamer Stan coming with his Poliwag, and I'm almost used up with Smasher, so let's go straight for Sparky right here. Thunder Shock, and here comes a Poliwhirl. And yes, Sparky has done it, has defeated good old Gamer Dan. And well, that right there is, you know, this whole route right here. 
So I talked to this lady, she's like, the department store in Celadon has a great selection. Do you go, th do you go there very often? Not really. Well, yeah, I do. Okay, so here we are in the underground path, as always. You know what, I'm going to just run because I don't think I'm going to find anything. I'm clicking the button too, but I don't think I'm going to be finding anything. I don't know what the red and blue is there for, I don't know. And let's see. I heard a sleepy Pokemon appeared out of Celadon, or out near Celadon City too. Hmm. wonder where that could be. Okay, and look at this. We found another berry right there. Again, keep an eye out for those M-shaped uh, grass leaflets and stuff. And here we are, guys, in Celadon City. There is a change coming, guys. So, uh, give me just a sec. Let me uh, change out some Pokemon. Let me fix up some stuff. I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys. You guys kind of already knew this was going to happen. But here we have found Growlithe. And yes, we're going to capture this guy because uh, we kind of need a Fire-type Pokemon. And thankfully, Smasher did not kill it because, oh my god, that would have been bad. So, let's go right ahead and throw this Great Ball at it. Yes, we bought ourselves some extra Great Balls over in Lavender Town. Thank you very much. And come on, stay in the Pokeball. You can find some Regalas out on the outskirts of Celadon City, ranging from level 18 to 20. Obviously, we're going to go with the level 20 because, well, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here it is, guys. Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. Very friendly and faithful to people. It will try to repel enemies by barking and biting. And yes, as many of you guys already know, we already got a nickname for this Pokemon. You know, this is after the uh, the dog in the Rocky movies. Say hello to Big Booty Butt Kiss right here. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back in Celadon City, and let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Big Booty Buckus. Yes, we are replacing Puss in Boots with Buckus right here, and it does have a gentle nature. Don't have the uh, chart right here, but I'm sure it's gonna be something. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna look at the the, the chart because many of you guys like that. Um, as you guys can see, it does have an item equipped with it. Actually, every single one of these, uh, if you try to capture a, what was it called, a Growlithe, they will normally have a Rosberry with them, just in case. And, well, this calm, or this gentle nature right here, will affect its special defense, it will heighten it, and it will lower its physical defense. So, yeah, that's, uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. So as you guys can see, it does have the ability Intimidate, it lowers the foe's attack, and it does have its uh, regular moveset right here, fire, you know, normal type attacks and all that crud. And uh, the funny thing is, we are in Celadon City, we can evolve a butt, or we can evolve Growlithe right there and then into a, or into a uh, Arcanine, but right now I kind of want to conserve it for just a little bit later. Now, in this episode too, we're going to be looking at a few things in Celadon, and then we're going to be finishing it up with going into the Team Rocket Lair. Now, first things first, this has always eluded me. If you go right here, you're going to find this. You're going to find yourself an Ether, And that right there will get you a little something something. Now, yes, I know I'm passing up something. But first, I'm going to be going through the areas where you can actually cut... Uh, cut different things as you guys can see the game corners right here there's a scientist dude right here he's gonna be like oh what am I to do someone stole our silph scope the thief came running this way I'm sure of it but I lost sight of him where'd he go mm, I don't know but you should probably ask that team rocket grunt somewhere as you guys can see you can go through the you can go through here with cut to get to the gym and I think Let's see, there should be something right here. Oh, yes, go right here, I think. Yes, this is the diner, and if you talk to this man at the very corner, he's like, go ahead, laugh. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. And we got ourselves a coin case, which, of course, will hold uh, your, your coins. And, well, let's see. There is nothing right here that you can actually grab, but there is something afoot right here. And before we go into the important parts right here, kind of want to go to the outskirts. And if you go to, straight into Route 16, you will be finding another Snorlax sleeping right there. But that's not what we're here for. We're going to be cutting this thing right here. And you will be finding a couple 
and you can actually battle them as many times as you want with the VS Seeker. So it's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be uh, training our Buckus just a tad bit, especially off screen. And he's like, our love, loves, or our love knows no bounds. We're in love and we show it. That is kind of scary in a way. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Young Kabalia and Jed, and they're both going to be coming out with Rapidash and Ninetales, two very majestic fire Pokemon right here. And yes, Budkiss's Intimidate will actually help us with their physical attack, and well, let's see, Smasher, you got your Rock Slide, Budkiss, we kind of need to switch you out, so let's go ahead and do that, and there we go, Rock Slide, Water Gun, and and there we go look at that victory victory that's right throwing out the peace sign and uh yeah you can call yourself a loser or something like that okay so we're gonna be going through the backside right here and what you need to look out for too is let's see you go to this house and you'll be able to find this individual right here oh dear you found my secret retreat Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. We grabbed ourselves the HMO2, which contains Fly. It's a wonderfully convenient move. Please put it to good use. And this move right here, I am actually going to use it to uh, Tornado because it needs something a little bit stronger than just, uh, you know, it needs something a little stronger than Peck. And you guys may be saying, well, you got Aerial Ace there. Why couldn't you just use that? Again, I'm just conserving the I'm conserving the the moves right here for specific Pokemon later on and I don't want to see that so we got fly now the unfortunate part is that we can't use fly just yet because we don't have a our fourth badge so what we need to do now is we're gonna go straight back to Celadon City and we need to take care of the essential stuff that we need to find so I'll be right back with you guys okay so here we are back in Celadon City guys and what we need to do now is First, this. Go into the Pokemon Mansion, I would think. That's what it's named. And if you go right here, you talk to this old lady right here, and she's going to be like, you shouldn't spend all your money on drinks. Try this instead. And she gives us a tea, which will go into our key items. Nothing beats a thirst like some hot tea. It really is the best. And the tea can be used to give to, be, to, give to the guards who are guarding uh, Saffron City. Now, I never really tried the water aspect, and I don't think it's going to work right there, so just make sure to grab that tea. Now, we're going to be going into the Celadon City department store right here. Now, there is something that we need to grab, or a few things that we need to grab. So, I'm going to go straight up right here, and I'm going to go all the way to the fifth floor. And I think the fifth floor is a spot that you can actually grab a few cool items like if you talk to this guy that is oh yeah this is the vitamin store I believe let's see yes this is the vitamin store let's go straight to the fourth floor and I accidentally do it when I went there so let's go right here the fourth floor and if you go into the fourth floor of the, Cel the Celadon City department store you can actually buy yourself uh, all the elemental stones what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to buy a, a Firestone and a Thunderstone right here. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, but just keep, just just wait just a little bit. Wait just a little bit because I got a little bit of a surprise for you. And, well, let's go straight up right here. And right up here. And the next thing we need to do is go ahead and buy yourself fresh water, a soda pop, and... A lemonade and after that go talk to this little girl and she's gonna be like I'm thirsty I want something to drink you give her a water she's gonna be happy and she's gonna give you this the TM 16 TM 16 is the light screen attack and it's a move that weakens the power of special attacks by your foe now if you give her a soda pop she will give you the TM 20 this one is safeguard it's the move that prevents status problems among your Pokemon now if you give her the Lemonade, she will be giving you the TM33, which is Reflect, I believe. Yes. And that, of course, weakens the power of physical attacks. Now, that kind of, uh, that's kind of annoying because it, I, I really did like the the Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow version of it where you get the TM13, it's Ice Beam, and all that stuff. It's kind of messed up that they switched that. So, 
I'm gonna be going back to the Pokemon Mansion, to the top floor, because we need to grab a little something something right there. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna be going right here. And what you need to do now is you need to go back behind uh, the Pokemon Mansion right here. And you're gonna be finding yourself a secret room. And this room right here will have a Pokeball right there. You grab it, you find yourself an Eevee. And this is the surprise right here, guys. No, I am not going for, what was it, Relic, because it's a little difficult to actually evolve it here since there are no day or, or night cycles right here. So what is going to happen is the next Pokemon I'm going to be flipping over or switching at, switching around is my Pikachu. As many of you guys already know, I've used Pikachu quite a few times in different walkthroughs, and I think it's time that in this walkthrough we try something a little different. I've always wanted to use this one, so let's go right ahead and nickname it a very, very typical nickname because, well, here we go. We got this, this, yes. We're going to be naming this Pokemon Shocker because, well, you guys kind of get what I'm going to be nicknaming this guy. Now, you are in Celadon City. You can evolve this Pokemon with a Fire Stone, a Water Stone, or a, or a Light, or not a Light Stone, but a Thunder Stone. And they, believe it or not, this is not the only Eevee that you can get. You can actually breed it right here in this uh, in this game to get more Eevees and to get all the Eeveelutions. So what's going to happen is first we're going to check out it, check out our new Eevee Pokemon right here. So let's see. Here we have Eevee, the normal type Pokemon. It does have a bold nature. So what it's going to do right here is its physical defense will be up. Its physical attack will go down, and it does have the ability Run Away, which makes escaping easier. And as you guys can see, basic attacks, but we do have a Thunderstone. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to evolve it into a Flareon since I have a Firestone with me. Uh, that is for that is reserved for Butkus right there. So let's go right ahead and evolve Shocker right here to its proper form. Yes! So it has been a while, guys, that I've been wanting to do this. I just didn't know which walkthrough I was gonna be doing it. But I think we're gonna make. Uh, I think we're gonna use this Pokemon. Or we're gonna have this Pokemon to good use and all that stuff. So here it is, guys. Jolteon. Oh my God. A very fantastic Pokemon. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Shocker the Jolteon. As you guys can see, still bold nature and all that crud, but its stats has gone up, its speed has gone up too. Now it has the ability of uh, Volt Absorb, which turns electricity into HP. So go right ahead, try and attack it with some electricity, or electricity, I should say. Now I do have an attack right here that it can use as a... Uh, as an electric attack, and we have saved our shockwave attack right here. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and train or teach Shocker shockwave, and there we go. We're gonna take away a helping hand because well, there's not a lot of uh, double battles right here, and yeah, don't really use that much. So there it is, guys. Shocker has learned shockwave. And, uh, you know what? Off screen, I'm probably going to be teaching my other Pokemon some different moves right here. So I'll be right back with you. We're going to get ready for the the game corner right here. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So here we are back, and, well, we're ready to go. Now, before we do anything, if you walk around here, click on the A button, you will be able to find some spare coins on the floor. So just be aware of that right there. And if you talk to some of these individuals, they will be giving you some spare coins too, so just be aware of that. And yes, we get some coins from this guy. I think you get a I think you get a total of a hundred and some odd coins. I could be wrong right here, but what I'm doing right now is yes, I'm just clicking away, seeing what we can actually do, seeing what we can actually find, and yeah, you can actually get hooked on all these things. And well, there's nothing right now. Let's see if you can give me some coins. Yes, nothing. Talk to this guy. Hey, you have better things to do, champion of making. Celadon's uh, leader leader is Erica. She is the user of grass type Pokemon and at one with nature. She might appear docile because of her flower arranging, but she's not one to be taken lightly. That's the only guy that's ever believed in us. He is not allowed in that gym because I guess it's an only uh, it's a women only gym. And well, let's see, let's see if we can actually find some more coins right here before we're done. Uh, oh yeah, there is a sticker place right here, Pokemon printer, not like the Nintendo, eh, or the, the Game Boy Advance, 
And we're gonna go with a normal one, and this will actually take a picture of your team. So just go straight to your trainer card. Actually, not right there. Go to your trainer card right here, and go to the back side, and you will see your current team. Eventually, I'm gonna actually switch this up right here. Now, off screen, I did do a little something. I did teach quite a few of my Pokemon some new moves, and I completely forgot that you can actually rebuy Dig so many times. So if you see some Pokemon, or multiple Pokemon with Dig, yes, I know, I taught them. I like to be diverse and all that crud, and yes, we're getting some more coins by this guy, and let's see, come on, you know you want it, where is it, where is it, okay, how about this, nope, this one, and this guy's like, it's rumored that this place is run by Team Rocket, which is true, because look at the rocket right there, and I think we found all the coins, I could be wrong, could be, you know, and let's see, I'm not going to battle this guy yet. So let's go right ahead and take a look at the prizes first before doing our little business right here. So coming out here, and we're going to be going up here, and you got three places right here. This one, you can actually buy yourself some different items like a smoke ball, miracle seed, charcoal, mystic water, and yellow flute. The yellow flute can actually heal confusion, so just be aware of that right there. This person actually sells different Pokemon. As you guys can see, Abra is the cheapest, then you go with Clefairy, then you can go with the Dratini at two, uh, 2,800 coins, Scyther at 5,500, and then, you know, Porygon at 999, 9,999 coins. And that is a lot of coins, guys. It really is. Now, if you go to this person right here, they will sell you different TMs. And I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should invest in TM35 because that is Flamethrower. And that can actually be useful for... That can be useful for our Pokemon Growlithe right there. TM30, I believe, is Shadow Ball. That is Thunderbolt right there. TM23 is Iron Tail. And TM13 is Ice Beam. So, yeah, we, we need to invest in a lot of money just to get all these things. So, let's go right ahead and continue on with the Rocket Cave, or the Rocket uh, Game Corner. And let's go ahead and show off our newest Pokemon. Let's go with Shocker right here first. As you guys can see, yes, it does both our Pokemon here no uh, dig. So let's go. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Taking on Team Rocket Grunt, and he's gonna be coming out with his Raticate right here. And let's go with a Shocker. Alrighty, so let's go Shockwave, Dig Attack, and there you go, coming out with a Zubat. Man, I am loving this, and there you go. A lot faster, a little bit tougher, and just like that we defeated another Team Rocket member. The Team Rocket hideout might be discovered. I better tell the boss. Okay, so let's go ahead and see, and behind it there is a switch. It is time, guys, to defeat Team Rocket. Okay, so... Make sure to have a lot of healing items, guys. Make sure to have a little bit of space in your in your pockets, too, because, well, there will be a lot of uh, trainers right here and a lot of items. And, yes, we're going to be speeding through this whole thing right here. So, let's go right ahead and take on this Team Rocket Grunt. And here's Butkus. I did teach it Aerial Ace. Gave it a dig. And Nember Attack right here. And just like that, Raticate has been defeated. Let's go with Smasher. Brick Break, I did teach it Brick Break, and again, you can rebuy both Dig and Brick Break, two very, very good moves that I would suggest you using, and here we found ourselves an Escape Rope again, and well, let's go right ahead and find another trainer to battle, our Big Booty Butt Kiss, and let's go ahead and use a Hyper Potion right here. Again, I'm using all these, uh, these one-off uh, items just to actually get around this whole thing, so let's go right here. And who are you? How did you get in here? I got in here because I don't know. So here we go, taking on Team Rocket Grunt, and he's coming out with a Drowsy. Let's go with a Dig Attack and Poison Gas. Holy crud, we are farted on. Let's go with Tornado. Tornado knows Fly, and there we go. And he's coming out with a Machop, so let's go right ahead and do it again. And just like that, we defeated another Team Rocket member. And. Oh my god, did we not stock up on... I f oh, crap baskets, we didn't stock up on a on a specific thing. But we do have a berry, and we have quite a few berries right here. 
Holy crud, we do have quite a berries. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna... I'll be right back, guys. I gotta heal up my Pokemon and pick up some stuff. Okay, guys, so we bought ourselves a few antidotes just in case. And now here we are in the bottom floor of the Team Rocket hideout. And you know what? We're gonna continue with Budkiss right here because we do need to train him just a little bit more. And, of course, he's referring, he's re referencing something about the Silph Scope, so that should be something. Here we go, taking on another Grunt with a Budkiss. Or, no, with a Zubat right there. And, of course, we're gonna get confused. The life of a new Pokemon right there, and he's coming out with a coughing. Let's go straight for Leonardo, and we did teach it Water Pulse, completely forgot about it. And let's go with Shocker right here, Shockwave, just like that. Let's continue on, this Pokemon, it is strong. And here we go with Bud Kids right here, and going with the Nember, Aerial Ace, Aerial Ace again, and just like that, we have defeated good old buddy right there. Okay, so let's move on right here. Let's see. This is getting me dizzy, and there will be plenty of items that you can find. Another Moonstone. And let's see. Go right here. You will be able to find yourself an X Speed. A very good tactical move or tactical item. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here. Grab this, and you found yourself the TM12 Taunt. And. Let's go right here, go down here, and I believe in real life this would actually get you all sick and everything, and here we found ourselves another super potion, and this will actually be put to good use once we battle. Let's go here, down here, and right over here, alrighty, so this will lead us into an elevator area and to the stairs. The elevator right now does not work because we don't have the car key. Or the lift key, I should say. And talk to this guy. Why did you come here? I came here because I am trying to save Pokemon, and I'm trying to be the best there ever was. And look at that, he's coming out with another Raticade. These Raticades, they come in packs and all that stuff. There we go, and Tornado grows to level 25. Let's go with Smasher. Brick Break for the win. And let's save Budkiss for this one. Aerial Ace. Ember attack, and just like that, we have defeated another Team Rocket member. Alrighty, so let's see. Found ourselves another item right here, Hyper Potion. And this guy. Intruder Alert! Oh, God. So, here we go, taking on another Grunt, and he's coming out with a Grimer. I can do this. And that defeated my uh, Blood Kiss. So let's go with Shocker right here, Dig Attack again. And we could use that Shocker attack or that Dig attack, but they do have Levitate in this one. So, Water Pulse for the win. And let's continue on right here. And just like that, Leonardo grows to level 33. We're inching closer to another evolution. And let's go right ahead and revive Budkiss. So again, this is like reviving Budkiss quite a bit. And there we go. So it looks like to me... Looks like to me, let's see, hold on just a sec. How much money do I have? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that I would be able to, to buy that flamethrower attack just yet. That's what I was thinking, because it's 10,000 to actually buy, or it's 10,000 for, uh, for 500 coins. That would only leave me for like, you know, maybe 2,000 uh, 2, or 1,000 right there. It's actually, uh, it actually costs more. For 50, I believe, and well, we got word upstairs that you were coming. Yes, I was coming. And I do not want to battle this guy, so let's go with Tornado. And there we go. Mach up again. Fly attack, and just like that, we have defeated another Team Rocket member. Okay, let's see. Grab this item. Here we found TM21, which is Frustration. It is a very, very good move if you have a brand new Pokemon with you. And I think... <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that could be for Budkiss right there, because it's frustrating. And here we have another Rip Candy. And, well, let's see. Hmm. I think we need to do this all over again. Alright. Down here, down here. And we need to go right over here. Of course, we're going to be attacked by this guy. Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs, or else. Or else what? Or else what? 
And here we go, Team Rocket member Grunt, and he's gonna be coming with his Radita, going with the Ember. And well, let's see. Let's go up against Eradicate. Aerial Lace does it. Ember attack. Ember attack again. And just like that, Book is fights his way to level 22. And well, he comes a, gr a drowsy. So let's go straight for Shocker right here. And let's go quick attack, quick attack, quick attack. And there we go. Level 26. You see? Not dragging. Definitely not dragging. And it's yes, you're taken down. Okay, so let's move on right here. We're gonna find another item and look at that. Black glasses, which can be used or can be used for a dark type of. Uh, or to boost up a dark type Pokemon. And I think that's. Oh, holy crud. Okay, so. <laughs> We definitely need to definitely need to stock up on some items right here. Let's see. You know what? Screw it. Let's go right ahead and give the rare candy to Butkus. That way, that that way, it's a little bit more on par with my other Pokemon right here. Won't definitely won't learn any other moves right here. So let's go downstairs and we're gonna find a Max Ether, which will be put into the storage, and grab this. Found ourselves TM49 Snatch. And I do want to switch my Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and go with the big guns. Eventually, it will have some guns on them. The elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? Well, duh, it's you. Okay, so here we go. Taking on another Team Rocket Grunt. And we're going to Water Pulse our way through this. And Shocker. Let's go with a Shockwave attack. And just like that, we have defeated another Team Rocket Grunt. After defeating this guy... You will conveniently drop the lift key, so grab this, bam. Okay, so we need to go all the way back down, or back up to the second floor, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so here we are back in the second floor, and we did heal up our Pokemon off screen and all that stuff, and well, now that we got the lift key, we can go into the elevator, and what we need to do now is, uh, I kind of want to go to bottom floor first, because uh, there is a trainer right here that will actually make our, or actually this is the wrong floor right here, that's the main floor. Let's go to the very first floor, because that will be a very good area to, to actually get out after you defeat everybody. You lost, little mouse? Not really. Okay, so here we go, taking on Team Rocket Grunt. And, well, he's got the typical poison-type Pokemon right here, so let's go with Bloodkiss right here, and... Ember Attack, Ember Attack, and just like that, we defeated a Team Rocket Grunt. Now, after defeating this guy, talk to him. Uh-oh, that rocket somehow opened the door! And we can easily get out from here. So, let's go back down to the bottom floor right here, and let's go to bottom floor number four, and... Let's see, let's see what we got. Now, we're gonna be finding some more items right here, like this. Like this right here. Yes, we found ourselves a Calcium. And, well, let's go right ahead and battle both these guys. I know you! You ruined our plans at Mount Moon! Well, I don't remember you, okay? So, here we go, taking on Team Rocket Grunt. And he's gonna be coming out with his Sand True right here. And... Well, obviously, this guy's gonna have an Ekans, right? Yes, he's gonna have an Ekans. From what I remember, the other guy has the opposite of what this guy has. And, well, we're gonna go with a Dig. And thank God we didn't get poisoned. Burned again. Yes, you did. Alright, so if this guy has the Sandshrews, then we should probably switch it out to Budkiss just to give it a little love right here. Alright, let's see what you got. How could you not see the beauty of our evil? The beauty of our evil, which is hilarious. Okay, so here we go. Team Rocket Grunt wants the battle. He is coming with an Ekans. And we're coming with Big Booty Buttkiss right here. And look at this. Intimidate does its trick. Dig. Dig again. And just like that, he's coming out with his Sand True. So let's go straight for Leonardo. And go with the Water Pulse. And he's coming out with an Arbok. And, well, let's go with Smasher. Three Pokemon with Dig. I really don't care, but it's working. And here we go, Rock Smash or Rock Slide. And that does it. Okay. So after defeating these two, the door will open. And now we can actually battle this guy. And I did buy myself a few things. 
In fact, I probably overspent a little on the coins. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did that. And, well, let's go with a super potion. With this guy. And just to be a little secure, let's go start off with Leonardo right here. And, well, let's see what he's got. So, I must say I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Here it is, taking on Team Rocket, Team Rocket leader, Giovanni. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his Onyx. And we kind of know how to do this. Defeat him and go straight for a Water Pulse attack right here. And look at that. Giovanni defeated. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. And, well, Leonardo grows to level 34. And he's going to be coming out with his Rhyhorn. So let's just go ahead and give Leonardo all the levels right here that we need. Probably should have given him the experience or the uh, the rare candy. <laughs> yeah, but Buck has needed it more. Yes, it did. And, well, there it is. And here he comes out, Kangaskhan. So let's go straight for Smasher right here. And... All right, Smasher. There it is. Okay, so let's go. Brick Break and... Uh-oh, Kangaskhan a little faster than us. So here goes. Brick Break for the win. Oh, my God. Okay, never mind. So let's go, Body, uh, body Slam. Let's paralyze this guy because, it's a, again, it's faster than us. Holy crud. All right, here we go. Body Slam. And, oh my god, nearly defeat it. Oh my god, come on. Just let us beat you, man. Come on. Don't be messed up. And, oh, nearly defeated this guy. Yeah, Kangaskhan has been on my radar for a little bit. And that Mega Punch is going to cost Kangaskhan, because look at this. Body Slam for the win. And there you go. Okay. Smasher grows to level 32. And, well, that is that right there. Boss Giovanni has been defeated, and he's like, what? This can't be. Believe it. I see I see that you raise your Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. And after defeating Giovanni, we will be getting the Silph Scope, which will enable us to, want to see Ghost in the the lavender uh, the lavender tower I believe or yeah the Pokemon tower and all that stuff so what I'm gonna do now guys is I'm gonna step outside we still got one more thing to do here in Celadon yes we're doing everything right here I'll be right back with you guys alrighty guys just when you think we're done no we are not because we're gonna be finishing off this episode by going into the Celadon City gym yes this is a new one guys we're completing everything in within one city and all that stuff, which is pretty cool. So, here's the Celadon City Gym. And, well, the leader is Erica. And, yeah. Anywho, thank... Yeah. Thank Arceus for, for chapters, guys. Because, of course, you guys want to skip through to see what happens next. I'm providing it all right here for you. So, let's go right ahead and take on the gym. As you guys can see, the only man that's ever believed in this is not here. He's actually at the game corner because, well, you know, no women or all women are allowed right here. And... Yes, this is a grass-type gym, so we are going to be going with two, maybe three Pokemon in this whole thing. Also, make sure to have, uh, make sure to have, what was it called, uh, the cut technique, because, yeah, this is probably one of the few gyms that actually has cut in here. So here we are, taking on Last K, and she will be coming out with her Bellsprout, and since this gym has quite a few trainers, let's go right ahead and see if we can actually beat them with just a ember attack holy crud okay and yes she's coming out with a weeping bell right here and yes we're gonna get paralyzed and just like that book has grows to level 24 now originally i wanted to go for like you know actually you know i wanted to actually let's see i wanted to actually uh you know Battle as many trainers as possible, get some money out of it just so I can get the TM35, but it was going to take quite a while to actually do, so I decided to, you know what, let's go right ahead and see if Buckus can grow a few levels and, you know, do some things right here, so hopefully that will be the case right here, and, well, it looks like it's proved, he's proving us, 
He is proving us uh, right right here. Look at that. Buckus is in his element. And <laughs> he has defeated most of these trainers. So let's go right ahead and see what this girl's all about. And she's like, look, look. See my Pokemon. I like the grass type. I like how they're easy to raise. Which they are. They are very easy to raise. So here we have Beauty Tamina or Tamiya. And, well, let's go with Aerial Ace. And completely forgot that I have Aerial Ace on me. Don't want to use too much of my Ember Attack, and look at that. Buckus grows to level 25, and this one will teach it uh, Takedown, which I will replace Leer for because, well, who needs Leer anymore? And Tamiya has been defeated. Okay. So that's three getting swept by Buckus. And weren't you peeking in here earlier? No, not really. He was that dude outside, so let's go ahead and take on Tia right here, or Tina. And this Ember attack will do its trick. Here comes an Ivysaur, and bam. Yes, I know I'm going fast on this, but I think the most important battle right here has to be Erica. So let's go right ahead and give a super potion to, or only super potion to Budkiss right here. Don't worry, it's got backup. It does. And we're just trying to gain some money because, well, we kind of spent a little bit of money uh, trying to get some more coins, and uh, so far we don't have enough. And welcome to the Celadon Gym! You better not, underestimate, or better not underestimate the nice ladies in here. Oh, I'm not. Okay, here we have Cool Trainer Mary, and she does have five Pokemon with her. Just like that, and... Yes, we're going to be going through these girls like this. Aerial Ace. And yet, we're still not hitting this Pokemon. Level 26 is doing us good. And, well, we're going to continue on right here. And there we go. Yes, even when we're paralyzed, we're still a little, uh... We're still a little, uh, whatchamacallit, uh... Well, stubborn and all that crud. And yes, we have beaten you. Okay. Alrighty, so, another par Paralysis heal right here. And the book is starting to like us just a little bit more. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here. And pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. Alrighty. Well, my hobby is Pokemon training too. And here we have a beauty, and her name is Lori. Coming out with her Execute. And she's using a Reflect, which of course it boosts up the defense. And that, well, doesn't really do much. Okay, last lady right here, and... Oh, hey! You don't like bug or fire type Pokemon in here. Well, my bad, I brought both. And here we have last Lisa, coming out with her Oddish. Let's go with... Oh, crap, Baskets. And yes, yeah, we, we go to sleep for one turn, and we nearly grow to level 27 right here. So let's go with an Ember attack, and of course a Stun Spore is going to get us, and bam, level 27... Let's go, Butkus. Okay. So, Lisa, you have been defeated, too. Okay, so, again, another paralysis. You gotta love this. So, here we go, Butkus. You've been getting a, a butt-kicking, so let's go right ahead and take on Erica right here. Hello! Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant! Oh, dear. I must have dozed off. Welcome! My name is Erica. I am the leader of the Celadon Gym. I am a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are solely of these grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well. But I shall not lose. You guys already know this. You guys see it in the chapter, and that's how I'm going to name it. I love this song. Okay. Here it is, guys. Gym leader number four, Erica. And she does have a stack team of Victory Bell and Evolutionary Pokemon right here. And yes, Intimidate will help us just a little bit. Let's go, Budkiss. Ember Attack. Finish it off. And wow. So, yeah. We're finding out quickly that, you know, Victory Bell is not a Pokemon to be messed with, with its extra HP. And yes, Paralysis. It's hitting us hard. And well,. Because of that, our physical defense has gone down with the acid attack, and that right there nearly defeats Victory Bell. So, I guess it's time to use different Pokemon like Tornado right here. And there we go, Tornado, how's it going? And, of course, Erica, smart as always, healing her Pokemon with a Hyper Potion. So let's go straight for a Fly attack right here. 
And that stun spore is not going to do any good. So let's go fly attack. And that nearly defeats Victory Bell. And of course, we're going to get hit with a stun spore. Always with the goddamn stun spore. Okay. Let's go fly attack. And, well, you got to love the acid attack. This is a very good combination move. And, of course. Okay, we fly right here. Really can't stand being paralyzed and all that crud. And there we go. We defeat Victory Bell. So, there you go. Pokemon are growing levels. And she's going to be coming out with a Tangela. Let's go. Let's go with Smasher right here. And I know that I'm making a big assumption right here that we can beat it with this Pokemon. But, with a Body Slam, the shoe is in the other foot right there. And yes, you can't move. Let's go right ahead and use another Body Slam. And of course she has a full heal. Good gravy. Okay. Paralyze it again. Damn it. Here we go. Smasher for the win. And just like that, Tangela has been defeated. Okay. Bring it on, Vileplume. So here she has Vileplume at level 29. Let's go. Body Slam. And hope. Oh, it won't paralyze this Pokemon. And of course, we're going to get paralyzed yet again. It's getting annoying. Come on. Body Slam. Let's go, Body Slam. You gotta paralyze this guy at least one time. God dang it. Come on, Smasher. Body Slam. And that paralyzes it. Eat it! Okay, so... Body Slam again. We are faster than you. Yes. Gotta hate being paralyzed. And just like that, we defeat Erica. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer to you on the, or must confer on to you, the rainbow badge. That's right, guys. I'm throwing out the peace sign. I am throwing out the peace sign. The rainbow badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in, out, in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. And we get ourselves the TM-19. This is Giga Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is, uh, or that is drained to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree it's a wonderful move? Yes, it is. You used it quite a few times. You are cataloging Pokemon? I must say I'm impressed. I would never collect a Pokemon if they were unattractive. Which is kind of a... That's kind of a mean way to say it to ugly Pokemon. I don't know. Whew. Okay, guys. So that completes Celadon City right here. Yes, I know. It is a very, very long episode. Uh, the raw footage right here is about an hour long, guys. No joke. And yes, I'm gonna continue doing. I'm gonna be continuing to do this throughout the whole walkthrough. That way, it, you know, it's a little bit shorter. That way, you guys can find pieces and all that stuff. Anywho, in the next episode, we will be going to Lavender Town, and we will be taking care of business right over there. I was actually thinking of skipping through Saffron City, but I'm going to save that until after Lavender uh, Lavender Town and all that stuff. So, yeah. Anywho, guys. Be sure to keep an eye out for New Year's Eve. The final episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough is coming, and you do not want to miss this episode. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fantastic. I don't know. It's going to be fantastic, guys. So, thank you guys again for watching. Have a happy New Year's. I will see you guys in 2023. That way, or, yeah, not that way, but I will see you guys in 2023 with a brand new episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Thank you guys again. Happy New Year's. I'll see you guys next time.